right, hello and welcome hmm. to the Geek Lab. And today we are going to look at how to solve uh, seek errors on vintage hard drives. Uh, a seek error is where the hard drive cannot find the information on the drive and it will keep looking all over the place and unable to find it. It's due to uh, old surfaces which are the magnetism is messed up on them. I don't know the huge technicalities, uh, but that's the basics. It cannot find the information. Uh, this computer, which is a, an Amstrad PC286D, quite a rare machine, suffers, uh, its hard drive suffers from just this issue. So let's actually go in and uh, have a look at a seek error on this machine. Uh, so we can see signs and symptoms of this problem. Right, so let's have a look at signs and symptoms of seek errors. Now, on this system, I have a freshly installed copy of uh, Duke Nukem. So, <clears throat> if I go CD Duke, the M1, you'll quickly see, if you hear that noise, that is a classic sign of a seek error, and I'll complain in a moment. There we go. Seek error. Reading drive C. Abort. Retry. Ignore. Fail. I can be tried. But you're going to get the same. So, what are we going to do to restore this? Well, we're going to uh, do something <clears throat> Use something called a debug. First of all, I'm going to reboot the system. Control alt delete. Debug is a destructive process. Uh, it will wipe everything from your hard drive. So if you have any data and there's any way you can get any of it off if it's important, do so before using this facility. I also take no responsibility if this messes up your hard drive. Although, shut up, if you're in this situation, it's likely your hard drive is messed up anyway and this is the only way out. Uh, the worst that can happen is it formats your hard drive. Uh, that's about it. You will lose all data. Now this process only works with West, I believe, with Western Digital 8-bit uh, controller, uh, hard drive controller boards. But Western Digital did build hard drive controller boards for other uh, suppliers. So for example the Seagate ST01 and the Seagate ST02. This will work for them. It may work for yours, it may not. Uh, it is possibly, if your hard drive screwed up, worth a try to do this. Now, so what we're going to do is going to low level format the hard drive and remove everything. That will be a completely empty drive, that will be our first step. So if we just get through that, we've got this running on MS-DOS version 3, I believe this works with all versions of MS-DOS. Uh, so, first thing we do is type debug. And uh, up comes a little cursor. Now we need to type in uh, a code. In this particular case, it's G equals C800 5. What this is doing, it's telling it to execute uh, the command that starts at that memory location inside the hard drive controller's ROM. There we go. Select new drive or return for current C. So return. Current interleave is 5. Select new interleave or return for current. I find it's best just to leave this everything as it sets. Are you dynamically configuring the drive? If you type yes, this will come up with loads of questions. Uh, if you're not technical, you'll be screwed. So no. Enter. Press yes to begin uh, formatting drive C with interleave 05. So type yes, blink, and it's formatting. This is going to take a short while. Right, well that is formatting because that's going to take a while. I'd just uh, like to mention uh, that there are several uh, start locations for the commands in ROM depending on your card. Here's a list of the different locations. I've also put them in the comments below. Now if your first thing to try is the top one. If your system freezes, 
reboot it and try the second one and work your way down that list until you find one that works. If they don't, if none of them work, I'm afraid this process ain't gonna be the one for you. We'll be right back when this is finished formatting itself. Right, a while later and it's asking if you want to format bad tracks and say yes or no. Of course we do, yes. And to get as much good info as we can. Do you want to format bad tracks and say yes? Key in bad track list as follows. Du -du 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 okay, maybe not. Maybe we don't want that. More no. Okay, so uh, learn from my mistakes sir. If you uh, put that in, it's going to want a list of bad tracks, cylinders and sectors and all that, so uh, perhaps no on that one. Uh, format successful. Restarting. Put a DOS disk in A. Yes, uh, you will need your original boot up disks for the system or a compatible DOS. DOS? DOS boot disk. So uh, insert that and hit a key. And off we go. And I'll now boot off the A drive because there is nothing on the C drive. Let's give it a moment to do that. Rebooting live. Isn't it exciting? Let's read in the drive. Whoops, wrong disk in the drive. I've swapped it over. That's the boot, original boot disk. So we should see in a moment it boot into DOS. Reading the floppy. Okay, it's asking us to date. There we go. MS DOS version 3.30. Now, the next step is to do a HD format. What will this allow it to do is to write new sectors and information about them on the drive. So, type in HD format. This routine raises all data. Are you sure you want this? Well, as we've already raised all the data, yes, I am very sure. Please wait. It's now going to go away and do its stuff. I can't remember if it does a countdown on this, but it's doing its stuff, so we'll be back as soon as it's finished. Okay, right. About half an hour later, uh, that's finished. It just sits there saying please wait and you don't know if it's crashed or not, but uh, it has finished so it's gone back to the A prompt. So the next thing we need to do is F disk it. Obviously from the floppy still because there's still no data on there. Uh, so what we're going to do is create a DOS partition, number one. Uh, create primary DOS partition. Number one, do you wish to use the maximum size for DOS partition and make the DOS partition active? Yes, this is a 33 megabyte hard drive originally. Press escape to return to F. Yes, right, okay. Right, yeah, this is a 33 megabyte hard drive originally. Uh, I don't think there's 33 megabytes of usable space on it anymore, but we'll see in a bit. Insert DOS disk get into drive A, press any key and ready, it's already there. So now the system reboots uh, for F disk to run. Let's just wait for it to reboot. Obviously off the floppy. There we go. It does have a BIOS clock, but I've just not set it. It's reading the floppy. Uh, let's see what it's going to do. Right, if we have a look at the C directory, type C, I will see that there is nothing on it. Found, not found. So if we go back to A, we need to copy across uh, DOS. So, if we type in, select A C 044 UK, this will copy DOS from A to C with the UK keyboard. Let's have a look. It's going. Select is used to install DOS 
the first time selector raises F then on the specified target and then stores DOS. Do you wish to continue? Of course we do, yes. And, any moment, you'll see it kick into life. Warning, all data on not remove <coughs> disk C will be lost. Proceed with format? Yes! Go! And there you go, it's formatting the hard drive ready for DOS and it'll install it. I'll be back when it's done that. A uh, short while later and uh, it's finished. Went through all the cylinders, obviously. Uh, it's asking for volume la label, you can label it if you want. Uh, RGVX. Enter. Uh, use my system. Oh, okay, it looks like it got it all this time. That's uh, different. Because last time, uh, there was quite a bit of the drive missing, so that's quite impressive. So now it's going to copy the uh, files over for DOS. So we'll be right back once that is complete. Right, it's copied 57 files across, so it should now be able to boot under its own steam. So if I remove this disk from its floppy, control will delete it, and it should boot off the hard drive. If that is successful, we'll uh, load Doom back onto it, install that, and see if we can run it. Let's see what happens. Any moment. Beep. She's making rumblies. Right, there you go, successfully uh, <coughs> booted into DOS. So if I go DIR slash wide, there we go, there's all our files back on the hard drive. And uh, what I'll do now, install Doom, and we'll see if we can run it. Right, uh, it has now extracted all the files onto the hard drive, and you can see them here. So if I uh, type DN1, which is the EXE for Duke Nickel, let's see if we can run this game. Now well, there's no dodgy sounds this time. Loading Duke Nukem. Please wait. Du, du, du. Can't hear any dodgy sounds. That's a good sign. This is a, a slow system, so uh, yeah. Please be aware of that. And. Do 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 I think this is 8 megahertz, so there we go. Duke Nukem. Slightly off center on the screen, but there we go. Okay, so there we go. Start a new game. Yep, all working nicely. So there you go. That is how to recover a vintage hard drive that has a Western Digital 8 bit. Floppy, uh, sorry, hard drive controller board uh, from Seek Errors. So, if you've got any questions, please put them below in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more of this type of stuff, then uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>